Boris Johnson's plans to close down 10 fire stations in London has left concerns over the safety of Islington residents. The changes are being made in a bid to save over £28 million. Pounds. I think it's an absolute disgrace to perform two major services here. Presumably it's not going to be great given that, as far as I'm aware, they do employ quite a lot of people. I can't really say it's particularly surprising. It's just another cut, really. Islington Council was one of seven authorities who made a final attempt to counteract the decision. Campaigners say the cuts would be reckless, wrong and will seriously endanger lives. The closure of the stations means London will lose 14 fire engines and more than 550 firefighters' positions. I think it's really bad. Yeah, yeah. It's going to affect so quick. We affected by not getting the kind of service and response that they used to. The Fire Brigade Union, who have fought the closures, released an advert which was narrated by Ross Kemp, explaining the dangers an extra few minutes could make to the severity of a fire and the response time. The Fire Brigade is always there to protect you and your family. Firefighters are there to save lives. Before he was elected mayor, Boris Johnson said there would be absolutely no reduction in fire cover on him. You know, my house might burn down or something like that, so yeah, it's a, it's a horrible thing. And um, I think we should, yeah, a lot needs to be done to actually prevent that from happening. Usual Tory show voting when they try and pretend to care and then they do something like that but we're seeing that more recently they're being all the more ruthless and in my opinion trying less to try and pull the world over our eyes. James Cleverley, chairman of the Capitals Fire Authority, said in a statement, Londoners will continue to receive one of the fastest emergency response times in the world from the London Fire Brigade.